back, and Oklahoma opens things up from their own 25-yard line, and the man that will lead the offense, Dylan Gabriel. Have not seen that one before. Gray goes in motion. They swing it to him out of the backfield. And he breaks a tackle and has a first down. Oklahoma plays quick. This is Mims on the outside. All paved the way for Gray. You can see that the offense is trying to get the ball to Gray as much as possible. His first carry of the day after having the According to quarterback coach Levy, he said that this quarterback is best. Dylan Gabriel is best in the temp. Play action. Gabriel over the middle, incomplete. He was trying. Oklahoma does a good job of stacking the receivers to make sure they can't. Major the running back. Gabriel over the middle, incomplete on this one. From 54. Schmidt is no good. Had it on line, but it is short. A stroke junior. The stud running back returns for the Mountaineers. They go to the air, and the catch is made by their great receiver. That's Bryce Ford Wheaton in front of Woody Washington. It's going to start 81 in the air. This pass a little high, trying to get it to Sam James on the ocean man. Second down and 10, ball across the 45-yard line. Here's Daniels. Pass complete, first down again, and it's going to be Caden Pray. They can OU show their hand, and then you're giving JT Daniels easy throws. They actually mark him short, and on third and one, he's hit in the backfield and dropped for a loss. Second down, turns out to be third and one, now fourth and three. I'm Offense stays on the field. Daniels with time, now under pressure, throws, and it's intercepted. Picked off on the play by Danny Stutzman, his second interception of the year. Danny Stutzman. So great field position for the Sooners here as they begin their second drive, and Gabriel keeps and dives toward midfield. Stay on the ground here. And that's Gray pounding it. Stack them to the top of your screen to make sure they can get free releases. Third and five. Second catch of the day by Gray, but he's hit and dropped. In the backfield, he knows exactly what's coming, and OU's going to have to be a little more inventive with their offense. Michael Turk, the punt. Fair catch called for and made by Preston. Ball too long and then turned it over. He cannot turn the ball over here in the black zone. They'll run the ball, and this is Mathis. And boy, could he help across the 20 and out at the 25 yard game a week ago. Yeah, he's been, been banged up, had the elbow injury, thought he could have played last week at Iowa State, held him out, but he is back full go, and he cares. That's still learning. Let's see if the West Virginia offense doesn't attack him in the run yet. Hey, I like the other linebacker, Danny Abuebu. West Virginia throwing on second down, and the catch is made by Cortez Braham, who goes inside after him. Third and two. This is Mathis. Dances in the hole. He will be close, and the extra effort, I think, gets him on fourth down. This drive stays alive. Daniels throwing, and too tall. He tried to find the seat here during the season. Second and ten, they run it. Mathis, the ball carrier, and he goes nowhere. Might have lost yardage. He's in his face. He stays in front, long arms, and gets in there and makes the play. Behind the chain, not where West Virginia wants to be. Daniels on the run. Running around on that second or third play when the play breaks down. He had what he wanted, but he couldn't execute. Oliver Straw, the freshman, punts it away. Fair catch is called for and made by Mims at the 16-yard well on defense. Oklahoma runs the ball with Gray. And he gets two yards over the right side. Tell you. Anticipated that Oklahoma would run the ball on first down. Second and nine, pass outside. This is Farouk. He's got the first down. Receivers, Drake Stoops getting on the outside and going to block for that first down. They run it with Farouk here. He avoids the hit in the backfield and ends up getting close to first down yardage. The little pop pass. And Farouk on back-to-back -back completions has got Oklahoma moving the ball. And their, their run game has been really good all season. Yeah, you saw the ranks in the Big 12. One of the reasons why, this guy, Eric Gray. If he goes over 100 today, it would be the fourth consecutive game that he's hit the century mark.
you know, you see a guy with dreads and number zero, you always anticipate that he's not a big guy, right? He doesn't look that big. He's 5'10", but this guy's 210 pounds, so you can see some of the power that he runs with. Four carries, now five carries, and 21 yards, maybe 22 on the day as he's brought down here after he picks up one. It'll be third down at about four for the Sooners. Gabriel to the air, and he overshoots his man. He doesn't take huge drops because a lot of the passing game is based off of play action and RPO. They're going for it. Fourth and plenty, and it's dropped incomplete. A turnover on that. Now, wait a minute. Are we, did they have a first down that we didn't? So a hit there is going to be a, a penalty on Oklahoma. You and I were shocked, but also evidently they had given Kick a first down. Yards. Kicking team, number 81, 15-yard penalty for the spot of the foul. First down, West Virginia. Yeah, this, this is pretty, pretty. Going to run the ball to the motion man. That's James. And he gets about five yards as he takes it out near the ball, answering the bell today. Daniels gives to Mathis on second. And then dives in on the tackle. Third and four here. I imagine we keep the ball in Tony Mathis' hands. Daniels steps up. Look, he's going to be hit and dropped. A host. He doesn't have anything to think about. He's just flying and playing. He's got an interception on the day, and he created this punt. Straw punts it. Mims is back, and he's going to return this one. Breaks a couple get the ball down the field because they just played in this run game and short passing game. This is Mims who bobbles and drops. I mean, they, they have just played banged up all year long in the defensive backfield and Oklahoma trying to take advantage and they miss all. to steady this shit. Third and ten. Pressure coming. Gabriel sacked. The third time, maybe the fourth time, we've called his name early. Punting situation for Oklahoma. Michael Turk kicks it away. And this one going to bound and take an Oklahoma roll down to the 10-yard line. It quarterback, kind of a gadget play. Wildcat guy came on last week, had a great drive to end the game at Iowa State. And whistles before... Prather in motion, they give to Mathis. And nothing doing for him. Danny Stutzman comes through and pulls it. Not very good, similar to what he had a week ago. But this is what you get. This is what you get. Throwing on the run, complete to James across the 35. High snap, he pulls it down, gonna keep it himself. And gonna pass on second and nine. Green steps up and keeps it. Palinde, the tight end to motion man. Green to pass. Rolling, looking. He'll keep it and dances for a first down near midfield. Else, they, they flip the field here. You get a, a couple of first downs, take it out near midfield. This is a drive that started at their own 10 yard line. Here's Green again. Essentially a play action for the quarterback where he fakes the pass and gets in the run game. Second and short. This is Mathis. Tell you what, Dan, third down and one. As time has done a nice job with his drive. Third and one, Mathis dancing, and he will have the first down for him. James in motion. Green to pass, pulls up, throws deep, and looking for James, throws it out of bounds. Pressure coming. And Mathis nowhere to go. Deshaun White. Chance this play's going to work. Green on the run. Going to be a hold, it looks like, and he's going to be sacked in. Calls on both teams. Legal substitution, defense, 12 on the field. Holding, offense number 64. Those penalties will offset. Still third down. Well, how about that? That's a relief. Michael, you, you, you're thinking. here to put yourself in field goal position, or more importantly, set yourself up to go for it on four. I go quarterback. I would have went quarterback draw off the side. False start. Offense number 66. Five yard penalty. Self third. Start call. On the other side, they got a cross, but not on the side 
of Jaquay that got back. Third and 16. Green loading it up. Going deep, and it's going to be incomplete. Ends back deep for Oklahoma. Fair catch. 10-yard line. Oklahoma. A, a great start, opening drive, miss a field goal, and since then, it has been dry. Start this drive with Eric Gray, who pops for seven yards over the left yeah. When, you know, the longer they let West Virginia hang around, the more difficult winning on the road. Let's see that taking a shot is not an option at this point. They run it on third and two. Boy, he is hit, and it, it's going to be close. They're spotting this thing. The field stands in a first down. So David Alvarez said they had some success in the run game. Try to get this ball over the top. That's the tight end Willis moving across the formation. Gabriel looked that way. Now he's going to run near side. And he'll get another first down. You still do. You got to give him opportunities to drive this ball down the field. And then this will be open. Oh, my goodness. Here he goes. Eric Gray on the run. He's breaking away. He's going to take it all the way down inside the fifth. Nice run by Gray. He stays in the game and gets it again and has seven. Javante Barnes, the freshman running back, is in. First time we've seen him today. And he gets the carry. And he'll have the first down as he leans to the five. It'll be first of this season. Dylan Gabriel's legs. They're going to go. Foot pass near side. It's going to be a touchdown. That's the tight end, Braden Willis. But a flag comes out. I'm There's no foul for offensive pass interference. The ball is caught at or behind the line of scrimmage. Touchdown. Wasn't there. After further review, the ball was caught beyond the line of scrimmage. Therefore, we have pass interference on the offense number 10. 15 yard penalty, still third down. This has been good in this situation. Gabriel going to run. And he'll be. And this one is good. Points on the board for the first time. Oh, he kicks it off. And this one's going to go out of bounds. This, I mean, they found a spark. They got the, the, the win that they wanted out of their shot of their own end zone. Justin Johnson, the running back. He's got room to midfield. Job. Johnson win played day. last week and had 12 carry on the kickoff. Ball already in plus territory for the Mountaineers. This is Johnson again. They'll have it on the midway point in the second quarter. Looked like Johnson that time got down. Second down and 10. Mathis back in it, running back. Short pass complete. Bryce Ford, we four yard line. They run it on third and seven. Ball is on the ground. Justin Johnson coughed it up. Exception earlier. And a little pop pass here. This is Drake Stoops, and he's got room to the 40-yard line. Quick pass left. They go right back to Stoops. Look at him fight for extra yard. That steadies the ship, and he's steadying it right now. Second and short. If it's not broke, don't fix it. And a first down. Down the field to Mims. Gabriel to pass again. Or right now. Right down the middle. <laughs> and he's got a man. It's dropped. Mims could not. It's dry, but when it gets wet outside, they're extremely slick, and you saw that ball slip right out of his hands. Second and ten. Quick pass near side. This is Farouk, who lined up in the backfield. Farouk the other way. Pretty good defense by West Virginia, but... After review, the only on the field stands. Work down. And they move ball quickly about to snap it. Ball start. Offense. Number 73. Five-yard penalty. Still fourth down. Inside the 42, so the Sooners going to leave the offense on the field and go for it. Stoops has free release. Ball batted down at the line of scrimmage. Good field position here for the Mountaineers. They're going to throw on first down. Or are they? Daniels rolling right across his body. Tosses it up, and it's incomplete. 
off the fingertips of Caden Prather. It's, it's, it's an unfair for the McKenzie those gloves. Is that where we are now, analyzing the gloves oh, it's players important. are wearing? It's important because two of the bigger plays in the five minutes to play first half. Daniels feeling pressure. Throws right. This one's going to be caught. First down and more. It's Sam James who makes a move inside the 35 and down to the Oklahoma Center 30-yard line. The give to Matt. Yeah, they, they really struggled against the ground game against Baylor last week. But so far today, they have answered the bell and here tonight on the road as they go to Texas. Third and seven. Daniels under pressure again. Wait. One more second. We said it too much today, but Straw in punt formation. Mims calls for the fair catch, lets this one get behind him, and it will be down inside the five. At the very least, you know, West Virginia gets the ball to start the second half. You don't want to give them. And he gets four yards. It'll be second down and six. Gray again. This time he's got a first down and more across. Gabriel rolling left, throwing, and it is going to be caught. Mims behind the defense. He's going to take it all the way down to the Westford. It's a back. The tight. Here's Gray dancing left. He'll take it in the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Point two. And that 54-yarder earlier, and it's 10-0 as Schmidt knocks through. A couple of timeouts when they get it back. And Adam, when has Oklahoma had their best drive and their best, their best play? When they've taken some shots. And room on the return. Sam James able to take it out across. And it just seems like Daniels has made some mistakes you don't want to put him in this position. Second time we've seen Garrett Green. And they dump it right side. First down. He has himself a first down and starts to drive. Clock stopped to move the change. It's rolling again. Green keeps inside the 25. Garrett Green inside the 10 and knocked out of bounds. Right edge looks very soft. Green fakes the handoff. He'll keep it. He'll score. Touchdown, Garrett Green. Something that he can move the ball. The two best drives for West Virginia has been with Green at the helm. He has to be the guy coming out. Casey Legg. Has not missed an extra point this year, and he gets hammered, and this is a score opportunity for Oklahoma. Here they come, racing the other way. This will be two points for the Sooners, and what a turn of events this is. Win this game. Yeah, we, we couldn't score. Now we get back-to-back -back touchdowns in less than a minute by each of these teams. Return opportunity here for Farouk. Takes it to the 24. Feel it through the field. I think that's super important. Gabriel going to put it up. Got a man caught near sideline, out of bounds, clock where the offense is going, and it's raining out. It makes it increasingly difficult to react fast. Quick dump over the middle, incomplete. 18 seconds. One timeout for the Sooners. Farouk goes in motion. Here's Gabriel. Under pressure, he's going to be sacked. Now, I talked about it before half. I think that Green is the quarterback for West Virginia on this day. Who will they bring out there? The West Virginia gets the ball to begin the second half. This is Sam James. How do you handle things if you're West Virginia? I think he plays the same way. That's exactly what Green is as a quarterback. Mathis bobbled the snap, but once he struggled with last week, that wide zone where the running back can go and find his gaps as he goes to the outside. Do it right, do it left, nothing doing here, and a flag on the... A little formation, formation, more than four players in the backfield, that penalty is declined. Second down. Second down at 11. Dump it right side, incomplete. A great situation for Garrett Green. We'll see how he handles it as they go fast one more time. He's going to take off. Now he passes. Putting situation here for Straw. Luke's this one from his own 20. Takes a West Virginia bounce. And the Sooners will have it at their own 8 to group. 
Willis, the tight end, goes in motion. Quick pass as they get it to Gray. Lined up before they started blocking, so that makes it fair. He's a receiver on first down on... Gabriel keeps and he's hit behind to, 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 to count it on the other side. He stays tight. Second and 14. They're loading it up, going deep. This is Mims incomplete and a flat. Pass interference. Defense number 14. 15 yard penalty and automatic first down. So you're trying to have good ball screen. Mims came down kind of funny there. Went off the field. Looked like he was holding his arm or hand. The fourth straight week over 100. Dukes. Gabriel with great effort. Uh, a little bit closer to the first down. Offense stays on the field. Fourth and one. This Little substitution. Defense, number 91. 12 players on the field. Number 99 was also offside. Five yard penalty. Result the play of the artist is the first down. Meantime. Javante Barnes in it running back, the freshman. And this one gets away. Slipped out of the hands, it looked like. Second and 16. Big hole for Barnes, who runs it inside the 40. Opening drive, second half for Oklahoma. There's no safeties back, even though it's short yards, I'll take a shot. They're going to keep it on the ground, and Barnes is not going to get there. Lovely. It's tough. Aubrey Birch was also there, fourth and three. They're going. Gabriel rolls, throws, and it is incomplete. Turn what they can do with their second possession offensively, half number two. Green going to run it. Well, he was paid over 60 yards rushing now on the day as Garrett Green. Stay on the ground here. Ford Wheat in motion, lines up wide, Green keeps it, breaks a tackle across midfield, he's got the first down. Hey, Jalen Anderson, we haven't seen a bunch of get it in the lead blocking scenario. Run it on third, throw it on first, incomplete. He was trying to... Second and ten. He's in trouble here, and he's going to go down. He is going to be first down for the Mountaineers. First foul, face mask, defense, number 32. 15-yard penalty for the biggest spot in automatic. I mean, the true freshman makes it. If you go back to last week, you know, we talked a lot on the Oklahoma side about playing with discipline, avoiding penalties. Here it comes again. Up, leading through. Very nice. They keep it on the ground. Jalen, 32 from the 26. Mathis gets it. And since that penalty against Oklahoma, going to the ground. Once again, it's Jalen Anderson. He, he removed really trailing 12-6. Some miscommunication there, but Green keeps and makes something out of nothing. Green inside. Third quarter. And the play clock hits zero, and now a whistle and a delay of game. Delay game. Offense, five-yard penalty. Still first down. Adam, I don't know this for that run to the left. Green fakes to Mathis. He is coming near side. And Oklahoma. Graham Harrell for his trust. Second and goal. They're going to pass it. Ball deflected and incomplete. I would say throwback screen here. They throw it left side. And it's going to be caught. Touchdown, Bryce Ford Wheaton. 10 nothing. And the extra point here from Casey Legg. For Ford Wheaton, it was touchdown catch number seven on the year. Farouk on the return. He's got room. Bumped out of bounds. Yeah. Murray and Kurt each had four touchdowns that day. We've got three total today for the two teams. This is Gray. Breaking tackles and taking it close to midfield. More variety if your Oklahoma sprinkled in there in the passing game. And this is a, a little bit of what they tried to do. Pass outside to Mims. He's if you can do that, you can continue to allow Gray to lean on this defense. Here's Gray again. A little move in the hole. Hey, let's line up our guys as far as we can at, at the wide receiver position. Either throw it out to him. 
Mims has the linesman. That was the reason for the timeout. Oklahoma runs it on first down. Eric Gray with room again. Carrying tacklers. In. First and goal. Keep it on the ground. Gray chuck. He's got the ball here. Breaking tackles into the end zone. Touchdown, Eric Gray. Play clock under 10. Gray in motion. They fake it to him. Gabriel keeps and he's in for the two-point conversion. Eric has to have another great day. He has to have a great day, and he's been doing that so far. Can his defense stand up and slow down Gray? He was really fine through. James on the return for West Virginia. On a last second field goal, these teams have a history of producing great finishes. Green the quarterback, Mathis the running back. Case number 88 in blue, Brian Paul and Day. You see him on the outside right there, looking the defensive end. Mathis, fourth defenders, and stopping the run game as well. They're not just there covering the pass game. Third down, Green throws incomplete. Lucky that. Mims back for Oklahoma. And a fake. They snap it to the up man. James, he was looking to throw it. Now he's going to run it. He's got the first down. What a gutsy call by Neil Brown. And boy, that's the 39-yard line. Could be the last play of our third quarter. Green going to pass. Getting pressure. Runs away from it. Stutzman is there. Pulls it. On the field was that the runner was down before the game too late. Two for the ball, ball came loose. Holding. Offense, number 28. 10-yard penalty. Still first down. Penalty makes it first and 20. And as they start the clock, time has run out in our third quarter of play. Oklahoma. Tight end. Green 3 of 10 for 48 yards. Throws it inside, and Caden Prather Scott. Because that's where they've really made this game again. Second and 15 for Green. Pressure again. Unloads. And it's going to be caught. This is the problem with his hand. He snaps the ball. Try it left, try it right. This time, nobody. Follow the tight end. They're going to run it here with Johnson. In motion. Resets in the slot near side. Play clock under five. They get it off. Fumble in the backfield. Who's got it? It squirts loose again. And West Virginia is going to recover where you are on the field. They got free play. The offense, yeah, free play. Green going deep. And it's going to be intercepted. Oh. I will look for James again. He's in the slot to the Bob Air Street. Mathis the running back. Here's Green. And it's going to be caught. And good for the first down. Green fakes. Keats. Bring it right side. Green to the corner. Touchdown. Mountaineers. Casey Leg for the tie. Extra point is good. In college football, professional football, the leader of your team has to be a guy with energy, especially if you're a team that isn't playing well, and he's brought a spark. Conversion across the board, they did so many positive things. And here is the defense. This is up there. The rain has kind of settled a bit, but the ball is still coming from that wet ground. Farouk catching on the perimeter. He's got it on the near side. Man, way out here. Gabriel to throw on third down. Aaron it out. He's got the root, but it's incomplete. He's sure that it's open. He waits to throw it, and it's too late. Three and out for Oklahoma. Preston Fox calls for the fair catch, and he makes it at the 31-yard line of West Virginia. And a point in West Virginia on the attack. Tie game. Just over 10 minutes to play. Incomplete. Green has rushed for over 100 yards today. The best rusher to the ball. Third and 12, got to be careful here. Tie game. Green going to throw it. Pressure rolling. Penalty flag is out. He wisely just throws it from David Alvarez. Personal foul. Top block. Offense number 72 and 26. That penalty has declined. Fourth down. A great deal. It's dropped. And now you're at second and long, and you kind of reeling from the start of that drive. Straw punts it. Mims is back. And he'll let it 